in, in, in putting the new album together um, on the on the back of the success of, of, of the debut, you know, did you feel sort of a, a sort of more at ease, you know, on the back of the fact that the album had done so well, or, or was there sort of more of an expectation, you know, of making sure that people, you know, uh, continue to support what you guys were doing? Well, you know, I, I think it's a it's a long answer, but that one, I, I think what we got to do is we got to value our own opinions of ourselves rather than those of others. You know, just as human beings, you got to do that, but. You know, like we said before, you know, maybe we should have paid attention, you know, because we were smoking and drinking our way through this whole recording process. And, you know, everybody was, you know, at the end of it, we're like, wow, man, you know, you guys must have been really stressed. And we're like, hmm, can't remember being stressed. <laughs> I mean, you know, it, we're, you know, it's rock and roll, man. It ain't brain surgery, you know. Mm. I guess the only thing you can do is just do what you do and try not to change it too much. Because once you start actually being really introspective and paying attention to what you do and, and trying to figure out all the variables... You lose it. Mm, 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 mm. And uh, the, when you look at the new album, um, how would you sort of best, you know, sum it up, you know, as you know, as as an album, short of saying it's 100 percent Colombian? Well, I mean, I mean, I, I like this album. I think we did what we were supposed to do. I mean, at the end of the day, I, I, I'd listen to it. You know, I think it has got a lot of good stuff on it. Mm, mm, mm. Because yeah, I mean, I'm. Mm, it's made, yeah. No, what'd you say? No, no. Sorry, carry on. Oh, no, I was just, you know, I was, you know, I can't really say any of my children are ugly, can I? <laughs> <laughs> True. True. But um, as I say, when um, I mean, again, with this album, you, you know, you, you venturing back into the territory of the debut album. But w when you look at, you know, in summing up Fun Loving Criminals, what tracks are the ones that you guys love to do? I mean, if you, if you have to sort of go through, uh, like the single. Um, you know, is is that where you know you love to be, or is it a case of you know? Of the well, you know, singles are usually singles are chosen by the record company. You know, I mean, we make albums. You know, mm. and uh, I think this album kind of reflects what's going on in our city and how we feel about it. You know, and the different stories that you run into. So, mm. depending on your mood, is kind of the song. You know, I mean, I think this song kind of is another soundtrack kind of vibe where. You can you can play it and you can find different things that can fit into your day pretty good, you know. So, mm. I guess depending on your mood, depending on the track, you know. Mm, mm, mm. And so, you know, with the band profile obviously having grown drastically over the last two years, um, you know, are, are you aware that there's more people out there listening? More, you know, you know, just more aware of you know of what you're doing and how you're doing it and how you're putting it together because there are so many sort of fans anticipating you know good things from you. You know, I, yeah, I, you know, I, I think the responsibility factor has got to end when you, you understand and you appreciate and you're humbled by the people giving you, giving you support. But the band is usually the least important part of the equation. It's more about how the people, like you said, the people are enjoying the music and making it a part of their lives. Mm. So uh, we're just going to keep doing what we do and, and give them what we gave them. Mm. And I think no bullshit's pretty much uh, with the way they want it, you know. And, there are enough professional wrestlers out there. You know, I think what we do is a little different, and, and the people appreciate that. So we're just going to keep doing what we do until, you know, they tell us that uh, they're finished, you know. Mm. But for us as musicians, if people understand and dig the music, that's all you can hope for, you know. Mm -hmm. is, it, is it sort of like a conscious thing that you have to sort of, you know, keep yourself humble and keep yourself uh, sort of... Uh, well, it's just the way you're raised, you know. I mean, we didn't... We're not the type... We, I would have never thought I was going to be a musician, you know. I mean, the way I look at it, life has a lot of... A lot of different parts to it, you know. And right now, he was a musician, you know. But the one thing that I'm going to do throughout my life is I'm going to, I'm going to walk through life respectful of others and 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 be humbled by experiences that mean things to you, you know. And I think the rest of the boys feel the same way. And as we're doing this, we'll do whatever else we do mm -hmm. or whatever else we did, you know. Mm -hmm. Because I mean, you you you're in an industry that is 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 sort of known for its fickleness and for its, you know for its egos and all its nonsense that goes with it. Absolutely. Uh, how, how do you sort of deal with, you know, with that side of it? Do you just sort of shut yourself off to it and just keep tight as a bag? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's a lot to be said for ignoring things, you know, and we don't, we ignore that whole side of the, 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 the industry. You know, we don't hang out with people like that. And we don't put ourselves in positions like that. And also there's three of us, so we definitely keep each other in check, you know, and I think that's important to have a good family kind of feeling when you're in a band. You know, a lot of bands get together because everybody's cute and they're all going to make some money. Mm -hmm. And we got together because we were all three roommates and dear friends and we had a little something going on. So 
it, it's it, it's the way you look at it. It's the way you set it up. I mean, we made music to make music, not to make money. So it, it's a different approach. So, so would would you say that the you know, that the relationship is strengthened on the back of the success as well? That you guys are even tighter now than you than you were say, say before the success. No, I, I think just the, the times that have passed, you know, the touring and the and the things that have happened have definitely brought us closer together as a as a family. Mm-hmm. And we have a great crew that that's been with us from the beginning, and that's a extended family as well. Mm-hmm. And you, I mean, if you, if if you look at the whole thing, if you sum it up as a whole, what what part of what you do uh, is the best part for you? you know, the part that gives you the, the the biggest satisfaction? I think just doing what you know God's gifted you with is you know makes you happy and I think playing music makes me happy and I know that it's not all me you know I know it comes from somewhere else you know and just the fact that I can get down with the universe like that and, and do a positive thing is is where it's at you know I if I was a carpenter if that was my calling you know I'd, I'd be loving to do that you know it's just it's kind of what God gifts you with you know if you're able to do that for a living you're way ahead of the game and you feel good mm-hmm. and I mean if 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 I take a, t- a track from the album, say uh, like K- Korean Bodega, um, a track like that, how does how does it how does a track like that come together for Fun Loving Criminals? <laughs> you know, I really had no idea how that song came together. It's it's a great song about a guy who owns a, a store. A bodega is a Puerto Rican word for store, like a deli or whatever. Okay. And uh, this guy, it's, it's owned by a Korean dude who's a friend of mine. And I was short two dollars buying some stuff one night. And he says, okay, forget about the $2, just write a song about me, Huey. I was like, really? He's like, yeah, write a song, and it's all good. You know, you don't have to pay me back. I was like, hey, great. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So I wrote a song, and he likes Bo Diddley, so there you go. Yeah, 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 because, I mean, you've, you know, there's, that, I think that's what gives the album its, uh, its freshness, especially at a time, I think, when there's, when there's a lot of stuff out there that, uh, you know, is very much a clone of something else, whereas Fun Loving from of the Voice sort of separated themselves just by virtue of what you do. Uh, but something uh, completely sort of different, and I mean, I, I don't think I could name anybody else who, I mean, as much as I'm sure you reference artists um, and 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 you know, uh, uh, you know, bands that have been an influence to you, but uh, in essence, uh, you're looking at an album that is is very unique to yourself. Well, I mean, that's the kind words. Thank you. I mean, we like to think that we're doing stuff that's you know that we put ourselves into. I think that's kind of the way you got to do it, you know. Mm-hmm. Even if no one was watching or listening, we'd probably still be doing this, you know, because that's how we're feeling. Mm-hmm. Now, um, how are you guys uh, going to be supporting the album? Are you going to be doing sort of one of these uh, huge tours across the world, or are you going to be... Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And absolutely. We, we will go any place that has a PA system. Okay. And we're going to go down to South Africa on this tour, too. So Superb. Keep an eye out for us. Absolutely, yeah. We're just, as I say, we'll... We'll keep tabs on that because I think that would go down an absolute storm. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I love doing this stuff. Yeah, there we go. But uh, as you say, I mean, I think uh, you know, you'll obviously continue doing this, like you said, to the point that um, it's no longer fun. Yeah, I think we'll do it to the point. Uh, I think we'll always play music together. We might end up scoring film or something, but we'll always we'll always be involved with each other. I think just the the fact that I found two lifelong buddies that, that see things a lot similar than I do. Uh, it, it's a special thing. I, I think we'll be doing it for a long time to come. Mm, excellent. Hugh, could I ask you one last favor, if I may? Sure, bro. This is going to be going out on 5FM, which is um, South Africa's national music broadcaster. Um, and I was just wondering if you could perhaps just say, hi, this is Huey from the Fun Loving Criminals, and you're listening to 5FM. Sure, I'd love to, man. Whenever you're ready. Whenever you're ready. Great. Okay, cool. Hey, everybody out there, this is Huey from the Fun Loving Criminals, and you're listening to 5FM, rocking South Africa. God bless you. Excellent. Thanks so much, Huey. I appreciate it. Hey, my pleasure, man. Listen, you take it easy, and I, I hope this is one of the last interviews you do for today, because I'm sure you... I think I got one more, man, but this was definitely one of the cooler ones. Great. Thank you kindly. Oh, you're welcome, man. You have a good one, okay? Thank you. Take care now. All right. God bless. Bye now.